Hello everyone and welcome back to another Binky Quack live stream on a Sunday early afternoon in the Britishnesses of the world. Hello to Rebo, good to see you back here, hanging out with us once again. Let me put my I Louvre cat's head back on. Now, we wear this head because if we get into trouble, we can just blame it on I Louvre cats, who's a moderator on the server. And that way, I don't ever get in trouble. It's an absolutely flawless plan, if you ask me. So, I have a bit of a plan today. We're going to collect my sandboxes. And I'm going to go ahead and get some sand. Just a bit of a resource gathering stream, I think. Winnie in chat says hello. Well, technically hi. But yes, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. As well as Jimbo. Hello, Jimbo. Right. Let's go to the desert. Ah. Interesting. Okay, good. That was our last rocket. Terebo says, weren't you going to play Architect? Or Parkitect, rather. No. Not sure where you got that idea. I am playing Parkitect, but I don't know if I'm going to stream it. I had a park for about two hours yesterday. I have no rocket, so I'm going to land. I had a park for about two hours yesterday. I took out too many loans. I went into debt, and uh, they bankrupt me. So that was a good start. I should have streamed it. It would have been funny. Damn. Yeah, this is Hawk's uh, Mushroom Island. I just landed here for a second to get some more rockets. Rebo says your Twitter. Mm hmm, my Twitter. What about it? Did I tweet I was going to stream Parkitect to Raybo? I'm not sure that I did. Maybe I did. Did I? Seems a little strange. I hadn't planned on, t on streaming it. Yes, Jimbo. There's a couple new things on the overlay. So now I have the song on the overlay as well as a duck derps and yeah duck derps is basically it's basically like the derp counter on asuma streams so yeah i actually have to hit that one once because i'm technically an hour late for my stream today Right, there we go. That should update it. And of course, the, the little image there, that was made by Spangle. The Teehee duck the, from the Teehee emotes that she makes for people on the server.
Torebo says, we talked about you being, me being able to help you, but you said you were going to watch X's streams. Yes, okay. I see. Yeah, I'm thinking even more so now, because with my first part going bankrupt within two hours, I might need to learn a little bit about how this works. Like, first lesson, don't take out two of the biggest loans and never pay them back. That's that's rule number one. How's the music levels? Audio levels good? I'm still trying to figure out this, this stuff, trying to find the best levels for the, the stream. So I realize this is probably not the most efficient way to mine sand in the desert, but... Oh uh, well. Nope. I don't want this grass. Get out of my inventory. Get out of my inventory. Jimbo says, guess what, base building today. You are always welcome to come by later. Uh-huh, okay. Yeah, Jimbo's base is pretty much right next to mine. So I think we probably will go check that out later. I'll give you a little bit of time to make progress or build whatever you're building now and then you can show us later. It's about to be nighttime, ladies and gentlemen, and beyond. When he says, I am babysitting my 18-month-old grandson today, won't be on the server until later this evening, my time. Um, okay, Winnie. Hope you're having a good time with your grandson. And I uh, look forward to seeing you later, your time. I'll be on, you know, it's only midday for me, so I'll be on for a few more hours. Several, maybe. Who knows? Where's that next song at? What is it? Where is it? And who is it? Terebo has new emotes. New spangle emotes. I've been wanting a spangle teehee, well, teehee binky from spangle for several months now. And then she finally did it, and it was, like, the best present ever. I got my I Louvre Cats head on today, so if I do get in trouble, just ask I Louvre Cats what he did. It's always busy louving cats too busy louving cats to follow the rules on the server with all the prankage and shenanigans
F5 time, you got it, Terebo. I was watching back my stream from the stream day, and it was actually surprising to myself to find out how many how many times I actually did the F5 mode. The F5 counter. Oh, maybe that's what I should have instead of a derp counter. A duck derps should have the F5 counter. Or both, who knows? Who says we're limited to one? We could count all the things. Beautiful day on the Let's Play Minecraft Together server. Won't you join us? Right, Terebo, you, you are officially our F5 counter. Don't miss a single one. We're all counting on you. What do I need the sand for, you say? Nobody said, but I said. I need the sand to continue terraforming my island. And we'll get into that when we get there. Oh dear, Crazy Marf was blown up by obsessive hugger. Too much hugging. Too much hugging. Obsessive amounts of hugging. Curious Cat 15357 in chat says hi. Hello, Curious Cat, and welcome to the stream. Good to have you with us today. Sand for days, sand for days. I used to travel about 20 million years in the nether trying to find the public desert that um, is on the orange line, I believe. I don't even remember now. But um, then I realized there's this big massive desert that's relatively uninhabited, really, really close to my island. So this is way more convenient. Curious Cat has followed. Thank you very much for the follow. And welcome to the Quack family. This is just uh, a head that I'm wearing. It's actually a duck hoodie. Yep, yep. We're impersonating I Louvre cats today. On the server, the Let's Play Minecraft Together server. And just doing a bit of resource gathering. How's everybody doing today? How's your weekend going so far? Hopefully everyone's having a uh, nice time. You know Winnie's having a nice time with her grandson. It's always good to hear. Winnie, one of the moderators on the server. And um, tremendous help in coordinating the Trungle City project, which we'll probably go and check out. I was over there yesterday flying and mapping out the, the area. There's been a lot of progress made there, which is nice, and a lot of mapped out areas and plots for future builds. It's all very exciting stuff.
when he says three sides of the stadium are now finished you should check out all the new shops and terraforming i was just there last night my time so it's been a about 12 hours ago well early in the morning i suppose then it's looking really good The stadium has been probably one of the biggest projects on the for the Trongle City, and it, it is nearly complete. So there's a bit of terraforming, some shops that are being built, and uh, I think it's pretty much mostly there. We should go check it out before the stream ends today. Hello, cow. Moo to you. When he says one side to go. Awesome. It'll take no time at all. And it'll be done. And then we'll be on to the next big city build. We don't want the grass, thank you. Put that right back where we found it. Jimbo says, I just finished editing the video and I made a client happy. So, so far so good, I guess. Awesome, glad to hear it. I think you were meant to be doing some editing during our live stream on the live stream day apparently doesn't matter we had a good time and the client is happy so all's good that and all's well that ends well as they say isn't it all's well that ends well yep yep Maybe a bit cliche to say something like that, but that's fine. Oh, Terebo, you thought I was going to go into F5 there, didn't you? Nope, no, sir. No F5. There will be no more F5ing in this stream. We'll take a sip of this tea, though. Yes, thank you very much. Slash open inventory slash give binky quack 10 trillion sand. Thank you, Garth. Thank you, Garth. Thank you, Garth. Thank you, Garth. Raybo, what's what's the F5 counter at now?
please tell me. I'm desperate to know. Turbo's not paying attention. All right, good. Gimme, give gimme give all the sand. Well, we might be just about done here. I only came prepared to fill up four shulker boxes. Not very prepared if you ask me. I hear a zombie. I think we might have found a cave. Zombies be trolling. They be trolling. Make sure to keep an eye on those spoons because they will break. I break I break one every time I come out here anyway, so it's a bit of a tradition. Not one of those good traditions though, one of those annoying traditions that you kinda have to deal with but you don't really want to. Do everything in your power to avoid. And that's the kind of tradition that that one is. shulker boxes. Somebody's going to come by and be like, what? These cactuses all generated in a clump like this. That's so weird. How did that happen? Bug report. Blame it on Garth. Oh, actually, blame it on I Louvre Cats. Yep, you heard it here. No, you didn't. You didn't hear it here. You heard it from the cat. It's his fault.
No, I don't want the grass. Please. Please, please, please. Mr. Archon, stop it. I do want the grass, but I'll gather that at another time, actually. Later, please. Yes, bit of a quiet stream today. I'm feeling overly talkative. The last few days I've had a really sore throat. Still lingers, but the tea is helping. So I thought today would be a good day to just have a chill stream, gather some resources, and um, not get up to too much more than that, really. I go check out Jimbo's base in a little while. Hello, Sand. How do you do? You'd like to get into my inventory. Thank you. Thank you very much. Jimbo says, I feel productive today. That's good. I think your, your overall in-game productivity is pretty good. But I think you have severe project ADD. You're always bouncing from one project to the next. Just ODD all over the place. Not a bad thing, by the way. Not a bad thing. Not ODD shaming anyone here. It's just a different style of gameplay, that's all. This takes a little bit longer to get things done. ODD shame in this stream, peeps. Oh my goodness, we are close. That one almost broke, didn't it? Right. I think we have enough sand for now. Yes, Jimbo. Productive, yet a little bit behind on some projects, perhaps. Maybe. Maybe just maybe. When he says, you still haven't started your tall trungle building. Jimbo. That's directed towards Jimbo. Yes, Jimbo, you still need to build your skyscraper. I have to finish mine. It's mostly finished, but there was some little bit of interior work that I wanted to do. And uh, some exterior changes that I want to make as well, based on some ideas that I've had. I should like to get around to that very soon. Home sweet home. Home sweet home. And can we make it? Yes, we can. Perfect. Okay, we need to get some chests out. Hmm, that's not what I meant to do. Get a chest out. Just get a chest out. Sure, why not? Nightbot hyping the Twitter in chat. Twitter hype. Mm -hmm. 
Twitter will be the best place to find out if I've got changes to my live stream schedule, like today. And also apparently a place where I like to say that I'm going to play Parkitect and then never play Parkitect. I don't recall that being the case, but perhaps it might have been a misunderstanding. Who knows? Who knows indeed? Uh oh, didn't I have four shulker boxes? Hmm. I think we might have left one behind. Just checking something. Peeps, let's go and repair some tools here. Ow. I should change my tunnel. It's not quite... Not enough duck theme going on in my tunnel today. Can you imagine if I just played the game in F5 the entire time? That'd be annoying. Badger Spanner says, hello. Welcome Badger Spanner. Glad you could make it. Good to see you. How are you doing today? How's life? Badger, if I get up to any shenanigans, just talk to Iloof Cats, because it was probably him. We're impersonating Badger's, um, Badger, what? No, we're impersonating, um, Iloof Cats. I swear, every time Badger is in my chat, I just get tongue-tied. For some reason, it's just Badgers for days. In everything I say.
Yes, the catsy heads are on sale. Three diamonds and you can be Iluv cats. There you go. Peeps, if you want to become a cat, the cat, the Iluv cats. Catsy. Only three diamonds in the nether lofts. Jimmy says hiya. Hey man. What up, yo? Just repairing some tools. I was out in the desert gathering some sand. And with that sand, I'm going to terraform a little bit of my island. So when I moved into my island, I had to expand it quite a bit. Probably about three times the size. To accommodate all of my crazy ideas. And so now a lot of it is just a floating dirt platform, which of course doesn't look very good. So I'm going to terraform it. Take the sea level down to the seabed and just make it look nice. Cats don't swim, you say? What? Well, I'm not a real cat. I'm I Louvre cats. Louvre cats. I wonder if that's how he intended his name to be pronounced when he chose his Minecraft username. Probably more like, I love cats. I think it sounds way better when you say, I love cats. He loves the cats. Ollie's dead, joining us for the XP. Welcome to the Oinker Ender. Streaming Ollie, you're famous. Say hello. Hi, Mom. <laughs> oh, repairing some already repaired tools. That's a good time. <laughs> Ollie says, hey. Uh-huh. Appreciate it, Jimbo, but we probably shouldn't be plugging it in game. Appreciate you, though. Repair, 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 repair. Yes, Jimbo, focus. Focus on your base building. I'll come and bug you there in a little while. I love Minecraft. This game is so derpy. You can just be a huge derp. Do derpy things. Yakami says, hey -o. Binky says, hey -o. Badger Spanner in chat with Yukame Hearts. Yes, welcome to the stream. Glad you could make it. How's your weekend going, Yukame? Noise in the ear here from... Weasels TV has followed. Thank you, Weasels. Welcome to the stream. The stream where we stand at an oinker ender doing nothing but impersonating a cat. The cat. That's okay.
Weasel says, totally didn't come from the totally not plug. Well, I won't tell if you won't tell. Today we're just going to blame it on Iluv cats. So get your screenshots, clip the stream, whatever you got to do, send it over to Iluv cats. Badger says it's all Catsy's fault. It totally is. Hubble says, what plug? I didn't see a plug. Nope. I'm not sure. I don't know what this plug is you're talking about. Okay. Can we get some XP here, please? Steel Toad, where are you at? You gotta fix this farm, mate. It's not the farm's fault, actually. It's because we're sharing it with Ollie. This farm has been a bit of a game changer on the server. Oh, can you believe it? Badger's Banner says, Ollie is vomiting flesh at you. I cannot believe it. Who would do such a thing? Oh, there we go. You know what? I think that's good. I think we're good there. Let's get cracking. Sorry, Ollie. I'm throwing away your gifts. Thank you, though. Appreciate you. Absolutely love Steel. Steel Toad for building this... What? Whoa. Okay, so he's building slime chunks down here. This guy is on another level of what's going on here. Anyway, so the farm. Hello, Hubble. Hubble's a unicorn today. Oh, that's actually... We have a new thing on the server. Can add items to your head, apparently. So I don't know what purpose this serves, but it's good fun, isn't it? Oh, okay. I guess if it's a headpiece, then it just goes into your head like normal. Badger Spanner in chat says, Steel is MVP. Indeed. Why do I feel like my inventory is missing a few things? And we're off. Because it is missing a few things, but I think I put them away to make room for sand sand mining. Jimbo says, we made the admins add that for fun. And Winnie also says, just for fun. It is one of the cool things about this server. We don't always do things because we need to. Uh-oh. Smacked my head into a cactus. I just do things because it's fun. And little little fun things like that, I think, make people happy, make people feel silly. Which is never a bad thing, really. Badger says, you were one of the test subjects. Sorry, who? Who was a test subject for what? I've gone too far. What? Oh, interesting. Okay. So I built this tunnel to my witch farm, which produces about literally one drop every five hours. So I, I pretty much abandoned it. Somebody else has built a tunnel here. Jesus's swamp. Shall we go check it out? Peeps! I like that they sort of drew some inspiration potentially from my tunnel design. I like this. Right. 
remember, we are wearing an Iluv cat's face today, so we can... We could cause trouble here if we wanted to. But we won't. I think we're already causing trouble by just being here, because not everybody wants people in their base, you know? Although, I will say this. This is technically... In my swamp. Not my swamp, but you know. The swamp I chose for my witch farm. Yeah, we're just gonna dip, actually. Don't want to get in trouble. They might have some secrets. Weasel says, change the beacon to jump boost 2. Well, it's already jump boost 2. Yes, that was a short boat ride. Oh yes, so I was touring the Trungle City yesterday, and I think it was a school? A university, perhaps? Maybe? But they had a lot of banners in there, and I found this one, and I just had to copy it. I mean, come on, like, I didn't even know that was possible. When he says school, yes. Okay. It did seem very much like a school. There was no signage, none, none that I could see anyways. Weasel says now I'm able to put a scallium on my head. Sounds like a good time for you with the slash hat command on the server. Right, let's let's get to work. Right, so peeps, what we're working on today, as you can see, the land was expanded by quite a bit. So there's all a lot of just dirt platforms. So I've been coming by and adding some terraforming, underwater terraforming, I guess. Which just makes it look a little bit more natural. And that's what we're gonna be working on right now. And I do think I should fly back to the desert. Uh, you know what, let's just do that right now. It's gonna bug me. I think I left a shulker box back there. Badger says Jimbo was a test subject for the hat command. What was the test object? Jimbo says I'm going to copy and paste it and put that on my head. Talking about the duck banners at my tunnel. At the duck tunnel. You go right ahead. We're going to the desert. We're in the desert. We've got to fly in a little bit, get a little bit farther away from some people's builds. Just so we're not griefing anyone, you know? We wouldn't want Iluv cats to get in trouble now. Uh oh, whoa, that was close. Don't know why my, ing my wings activated there. Almost killed me. Oh, geez, now I don't even remember where we went. Okay, you know what? Hold on. Let's just... We're doing cheaty mode now. If there's a yellow shulker box placed somewhere, it'll be on the map. He's cheating. Can you believe it? Katz is cheating. 
Those cats, you can't trust those cats. Eh, okay, whatever. You know what? Whatever. It's a shulker box full of sand. We can get that in a couple minutes. Some other time. All right, let's make sure we're flying the right way. Awesome Ninja Pie says, hi, hello. Hello, hey, how are ya? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a wonderful Sunday, or Saturday, or Monday, or whatever it is, wherever you are. Maybe wherever you are, you don't even go by days of the week. I mean, who am I to judge? You might not even be on this planet. But then if you're in space, man, you know what? Time really doesn't count. I think this music might be a little bit over the top. Is it over the top? Can we get a confirmation in chat? land perfect yes okay so now we just need to grab some dirt and some sand music is fine bit quiet oh dear i gotta find a better setup because it is quite loud in my ears okay four percent oh dear can't hear the music oh no oh no professional streamer Okay, right. It's gone from 2% to 4%. Hopefully that improves it a little bit. Oh, maybe I only did have three. Peeps, I only had three. Because I remember I lined them up like that to match the chest because I'm OCD. So you know what? Lucky us. We only had three. We don't have to go and search for another one. Hooray. Yay. Right, this playlist is a little too, a little too rambunctious. Let's, let's just tone it down a little bit. that sand yes all righty then is it a bit better the music can you hear it now Sort of making it up as we go and we're doing it just like that I will say this this is a very tedious process this music is all right I like it I thought it would actually be kind of cool to come in here after and drain this all out and just cut away all this stuff and just have like an entire base underneath the entire island. I think that would be kind of cool. Again, a lot of water draining, a lot of stone clearing, a lot of work, but hey, you know what? 
Everybody's base is a lot of work, isn't it? Just the way it goes. It is just the way it goes. Oh, goodness me. Right, so... Oh, this music is kind of cinematic. When he says, ask to borrow the community sponges when you are ready to clear the water. Perfect. Perfect. I forget that we actually have so many community resources. Gotta get in there, take advantage. I do have some sponges. I think I have about half, well, just a little under a full stack of sponges. Badger Spanner says, hooray for socialism. Yep. Indeed. Is that a little too perfect? It's not supposed to be perfect. It's got to be quite the opposite. It's got to look like there's been some change in the currents over the years, and things have been shifted and jumbled about all over the place. Yes, thank goodness for pick block though, because that just makes things like this so much quicker. thing for conduits as well. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to do this on stream. It would be too dark. Drax Ao has followed. Thank you very much for the follow. I hope you enjoy your stay here, and now you'll be notified by the magic of Twitch, Twitch magics, when I go live in the future. Isn't that crazy? The future is now, people. The future is now. Badger says restart. Oh, right. Yes, another side effect of me being late to the stream is uh, now we have a server restart right in the middle of my stream. That's fine. Three, two, one, go. We're back. Didn't happen. You can't prove it. And if you can, just, you know, I'm terribly sorry for Iloof Katz's actions today. We'll have a talk with him about that. Okay. I know this terraforming stuff underwater has got to be terribly interesting for you guys. Oh, 
yeah. Hmm. Okay, we'll come back and do the minor details later. Let's just get the bulk of it done. Valuable pineapple has followed. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. I like your username. Okay, you know what? We should actually bring this out. Oh, dirt there, some sand there, and some dirt. Okay, that works too, I guess. We'll put that there. Valuable pineapple says, thank you. You're welcome. You gotta value those pineapples, especially on pizza. Peeps! Important question. Pineapple on pizza. I say there is no wrong answer here, you know, but let's talk about it. Everybody has taste, everybody has preference. Betty Bag Daddy, with the follow. Welcome to the stream, Betty. Glad to have you with us. Hope you're having a good weekend and thank you very much for the follow. We're doing some underwater terraforming here at my island on the Let's Play Minecraft Together server. And just listening to some chill music. Yukami says, hmm, I could go for a pizza right now. Yes. Uh, pizza would be good. I have some pizza. I could make some pizza later. And we need to bring it out here a little bit. Betty Bag Daddy. It's a good name as well. <laughs> For the longest time, I wasn't able to connect the dots that Betty Bag Daddy is Betty Kills You. I was like, wait a second. Wait a second. This is impossible. Couldn't possibly be. Right, let's let's maybe put the controversy aside for now. Well, maybe not controversy, but more maybe slightly more provocative discussions. Let's just keep it chill. Yeah, with the thing about terraforming underwater like this is you I'm kind of forced to make it up as I go because there's not there's no real right way to do this. It's very subjective, so you know, at the end of the day, everybody has their own way of presenting their underwater land sculptures <laughs> as it were. Betty says, you have a great streamer voice. Why, thank you. I don't sound like a duck at all. It's a Christmas miracle. Badger says, Canadian scar. Oh, Scar. Scar's an absolute treasure. That man is incredible. If you ever needed someone to just inspire you with not only in-game with terraforming and all the amazing, incredible things he builds, but just in life in general, that's the man you look to. He really is. He's incredible. Oh, this just keeps happening, doesn't it? It just keeps happening, peeps. It just keeps happening. We keep lining it up too perfectly, and you know it's underwater. It cannot be perfect. 
Nope. It cannot be perfect. Drop a couple of random sand blocks there. Badger says he is a wonderful human and Jelly has trained him well. Yes, Jelly has done a very good job. Jelly is Scar's cat. Was actually added to the game, Minecraft. We'll be seeing Jelly, the cat, in 1.14, and that is pretty incredible, I must say. If I do say so myself, and I did. Just a reminder to all the peeps, if TNT somehow appears somewhere and blows something up, you know what face has done it. This face has done it. Go talk to Iloof Cats about it. It's not my fault. Valuable Pineapple says, I'm watching this stream and playing Minecraft. Why did I read that backwards? That's probably the way I consume most of my Minecraft streams. Throw it on, listen to it in the background. It's a good way to do it. Right, we're gonna start connecting this to the island now at some point. Right, so, um, okay. Whoops. That automatic swim mode, it'll get you every time. Betty says, is this how Canadian ducks sound like? I suppose. Whoops. RIP sandblock. Rest in peace and relaxation. See you on the other side. Oh, this song is perfect. This song matches my mood. Very chill, very mellow. And that's what it is today. Very mellow. Muttonier says, I would be playing Minecraft if I hadn't lost the computer to my son. Hmm. Well, you could ground him. I suppose that's an option. It always works, doesn't it? It's like, no, you're grounded. Go to your room. Go to your corner. Think about what you did. Welcome to the stream, Muttonier. Hope you're having a good day other than not being able to play Minecraft. It is a finicky process, is it not? Oh, look at that. Mr. Jimbo with the duck banners. Welcome to my island. Duck banners are welcome here. You know what? We're just going to lower this one. So I want this to be gone. There we go. Cool. Hello, Yukame. Boop. It was Jimbo. Pretty sure I saw him do it. Oh. 
Uh oh. A little bit hostile. Hostile Yukami. This music is fabulous. I like it. Actually, bring this out a little bit, which we already started. Good, 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 good. I play some Parkitect later, but I don't know if I'll stream it. I know underwater terraforming has got to be like the most entertaining thing to watch. Goodness me. Get tricked. Get pranked. Just a nice little prank. Yukame in the floor, says Badger Spanner. Yeah, that's your destiny. We always knew it would happen. <laughs> Yukami says, I am just legs. How do you even do something like that? Let me see if I can do that. Oh, I can. Peeps, this is the rest of the stream right here. Oh my goodness, this game is so goofy. in the water valuable pineapple says I just got an impaling for protection three looting two book from fishing how long have you been fishing You've been doing that cheaty AFK fishing And an efficiency four book. Well, GG to you. Maybe we'll have a little bit of dirt sticking out on this part here. Yeah. So you can already see the bits that I placed there. It's not going to match up. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. That's fine. We'll just do this. And then we can come through and fix it. Fix it when we get there. Muttnir says, serious gravel burns coming. Yep. You be careful down there, Yukame. Right? 
dirt. A little bit of sand. A little bit of dirt, a little bit of sand. Now we can shape this up a little bit and fix it. Valuable pineapple. Only three minutes, says valuable pineapple. That's pretty good for three minutes. I'm attempting to recover. I'm a little bit of a miscalculation, misalignment. Oh dear. I might just be making things worse. I feel like the music is sort of appropriate to what I'm doing. It's a little bit dramatic. Problem-solving music, I guess. Right, let's just ignore that. We'll come back to that. Really, this is just about running around, dropping off some sand, pretty much everywhere. No rhyme or reason. It's a steep decline. That's fine. Bring this one out. Uh, maybe right here. Winnie says, looking great, Binky. Thank you very much. I might be overthinking it a little bit. Maybe. Go up at a bit of an angle right there. And then back that way. And now we can make them slightly smaller inclines. Right? Two, two. There's no formula here. Just kind of making it up. Well, that's not bad.
Oh, damn it. Swim mode. Auto swim mode. Beautiful. Well, look at that. I think we managed to fix it. Okay, do I really need that? I don't think I need that. Keep placing torches anyways. It's just getting in the way. drowned. Get your butt out of here. Get absolutely wrecked. Not just wrecked. And not partially wrecked. Absolutely wrecked. 100%. That'll do. Yep, save the day. Out of sand. Oh, we're out of sand. How tall does cro does cactus grow? I don't remember. Is three the maximum? Pineapple says three question mark. 
I think it's three. I think in order to get it taller than that, you have to manually grow them. Like manually place them. Or is it possible to place cactus? Anything is possible if you're Mike. Metamorphic Mike admin on the server. Betty Bag Daddy says, Oh, Binky, are you the one that built those Asian looking buildings? Yes. One of them. I think Sherpa is also doing a very oriental theme with his um, with his build in Trungle City, the Japanese resort, I believe. Yes, so let's do a tour then. Let's do a quick little flyby. So I've got my portal, which is, I guess, a very oriental theme. And the, the newest addition to the base would be my temple. And um, yeah, that's drawing some very traditional Japanese vibes into it. Wish there was a way to fly by something and look sideways. Yeah. It turned out really good. I like it. And then I have a little pagoda over here. It's been very fun to build. Oops, that's the wrong one. Video settings. Silders Vibrant Shaders. This shader pack really just tends to take things to the next level. All right, let's... <laughs> so that looks like a, a happy face with a mustache. I think that's going to have to be the stream thumbnail today. Bam. Nice. There's a mix of themes going on here. So I started off with like a tropical sort of... I don't even know what you would call this. Just like a house built on the coast. So like it's got the stilts and supports and stuff to elevate it from the ground to perfect it, prevent flooding damage, I guess, to the house. That's what I was going to go with originally. But then I saw some really interesting oriental style builds and they kind of inspired me to switch directions a little bit. So this is going to be the theme for the main builds on this island is going to be built out of this, this style which I very much like, and I'm glad I made that decision to do that. All of these farm bits will get taken out and they'll get put inside here somewhere. Oh geez, just fly, fly, dang it. Okay. My guardian monument hole in the ground thing at the moment, which I'm going to build up into a giant mountain, I guess, possibly a volcano. Yeah, that's the plan. It's gonna be, oh yeah, okay. We're gonna take the shaders off for this part. That's the plan. Betty Bag Daddy says, I'm thinking of building a massive oriental city. Maybe making it into a community project. Well, if it does become a community project, I'd love to get involved. Let me know. That shaders pack is awesome. Shout out to the developers of that one. Fortunately, I don't actually know who made it. Right, um, you know what? I think we're gonna leave the underwater terraforming there for now is a bit of a tedious process. Not one of the most entertaining things to watch. I used to have a bunch of fish in here as well. 
I made this little pond for all the different fish types. But they keep despawning. So I'm not too sure what's going on with that. So I've stopped filling it with fish because they keep disappearing. Muttoneer says, very impressive. Thank you very much, I think. Depends what you're talking about. What are you talking about? Jimbo says, Mike killed them. I blame him. I blame cats. No, should we be blaming cats today? Surely. Yeah, so that's that. Let's fly over to Jimbo's base and see what's going on over there. Jimbo, are you at your base? Show us what you're working on. Actually, we can put shaders on for this one. Voice crack. Betty asks, have you seen Corrales' tour of that massive oriental build slash city? It's so inspiring. I have not, but I have drawn a lot of inspiration from Corrales. Not necessarily from the oriental builds that I'm doing, but other other builds. I used to watch his videos a lot. I haven't watched his videos recently, and I'm not really sure why. Doesn't really do Minecraft stuff recently, I guess. Jimbo, what you working on? Yes, I actually should look up the um, the video. I would love to see that. Corrales Oriental City Tour. I'll just look it up. Make a note of that. Right. What are you working on? The glass? The diamond? Can we land? That's the question. Look at that. Uh-oh. Well, I was going to do a an F5 for the successful landing, but sort of ruined that, didn't we? Is that a derp? I don't think so. So this is Mr. Jimbo Space. And if I remember correctly, this is meant to be a multicolored diamond shape. I always end up doing base tours in these streams. I always feel like it's I get distracted touring bases and next thing you know I've wasted a couple hours touring people's bases but there's so many different build styles and tastes and and preferences on the server I think it's really cool to go out and explore it is very inspiring to see all the different styles very talented builders and idea makers on this server Oh, there we go. Muttoneer says that whole base area. Very impressive. Well, thank you very much. I certainly do appreciate it. It is a bit of a mix of ideas and themes at the moment, but slowly and surely, it'll all become a bit more cohesive. More people need to come over and build some houses here though. There's a couple spots left. This is the floating village. Houses for the villagers. Oh, come on, please work. Hmm. 
Hmm. This used to be a better view, but then the, some of the bigger builds popped up and blocked everything. Then I started working on this floating island ripped out of the ground sort of concept. I always thought it would be kind of cool to see what that would look like. Since I built an iron farm up there anyways, I thought it would be kind of cool to conceal it uh, with a, as a floating island. So that's a floating island that's been ripped out of the ground. So all the golems that get uh, spawned up there will fall down into that hole. Oops. Whoopsies. Which will take them down to, you know, be recycled and reused into iron blocks and stuffs. Right, you know what? Let's go to Trungle. Let's go to Trungle City. We've got a few minutes. We'll check out the stadium. I saw it last night and it's looking really good. did add a lot of waypoints in the city. We might see a lot of these waypoints popping up on my screen. I mean a lot. A lot. <laughs> but it helps me navigate the city. Um, right, so straight, straight in the direction we're flying, we'll see the stadium. Right now, we're just making our way through the skyscraper area. Flying over some in-progress builds. Nice fire hall there. We've seen that on X's streams. We've seen a lot of this on X's streams. Oh, wait, there we go. Oh, turn. Oh, that's nice. That's really cool. Some hangout areas outside here. Get your drinks and your hot dogs and go sit in the sun. Get some sunlight. Right, so that's one side fully terraformed and decorated, and that's another side. It's looking very developed over here. And then the front, the entrance. So I suppose this side over here is the, the last side that needs to be done. Something's going to go in here, I'm sure. What a crazy project this has been. A pitch full of players. It's pretty wild. Let's head over to the post office. I gotta check my mail. Beautiful. 
Yes. Binky quack. Mailed potato. Yes, you can mail a potato. Not a scam. Oh, uh, let me click on this. Dear Binky Quack, hi, I am Nigerian Prince Hasim. I have $200 million, but do not have an heir. To become my heir, please reply with your credit card information so I can transfer my riches to you. Have a nice day. Okay. I'll get to that later. Cool. I don't know who gave me the diamond, diamond ore block there, but thank you very much. Happy Valentine's Day to you as well. The food court at the stadium. Check out the food court at the stadium, says Winnie. The food court. So that would be inside, inside the stadium. Okay. Yeah, I guess the outside does little to actually show the scale of the build. I mean, you can see, obviously, it's quite a massive build. But there's a lot going on inside as well. So let's actually check that out thing with these flybys is you never really see what's going on inside. Oh, there's a lot going on in here. Spangles. What's this? Candy? Cotton candy? Is that Badger? Badger and TD? That's, that's Winnie. <laughs> and uh, Maya, yeah. Oh, oh my goodness! Restroom in case you need to do your your ablutions. You can do your ones and twos in there. Food court. Um, badger burgers says Yakame. Are they made of badgers? I hope not. All food behind counter, one dime in a stack. Okay. It's a pretty good deal. Restrooms. Um, is that the food court? Go downstairs to the south side, says Winnie, the other side. Downstairs to the south side, okay. Players only door. Okay, let's go this way. We're on the pitch. Am I going the wrong way? I feel like I'm going the. Oh, nope, maybe not. Oh. Okay, pay here. No free food in here. Oh, there I am. What am I selling? Cookies. Nice. Jimbo? Or Jimbo's alt. I'll just sit here. I'm just waiting. Waiting for my friends. This is really cool. I like this. I've never, I haven't actually come in here and seen this. Clever use of armor stands. So throwing some stuff away maybe. Bathrooms. Betty Bag Daddy says that dining hall looks great. Does it just? It's super cool. You got TVs. That's actually really cool. TVs so you can see what's going on on the pitch. It's pretty realistic. I mean, I haven't been to many stadiums. X would probably be the expert on stadiums, but yeah, it's looking really cool. 
We've got a little aquarium here. I'm not sure if stadiums have aquariums, but I do love the idea. And I say, why not? Oh dear, you got pufferfish. Pufferfish selling stuff. Gotta watch out, it might be poisonous. Seafood. Seafood says Winnie. The seafood shop. Oh, that's more bathrooms. Winnie says, I ran out of player heads. Well, puffer fish are good. And is there anything up here? No. Not yet. Did I miss anything down there, Winnie? Uh, everybody's been chipping in and working on these these builds. Absolutely incredible. Oh, these are the VIP boxes. All right. Garth with his banner, the City of Garter banner. Next level, this is really next level stuff. Yukame's Sportswear. Oh, wow. How clever is that? Betty Bag Daddy says, yes, very quaint and realistic feeling inside there. Yeah, it is, absolutely. I can't get over how cool this looks with the armor stands. I mean, it's such a simple concept that it just executed so well. Ikaume, good job. This shop looks somewhat closed. Let me in. When he says, I have spent all week on it. Yeah, that's incredible. Well, it really shows. Um, you, but you've spent a lot more than just this past week on it. You've been been working on this pretty steady for a few months now, I would think. Coordinating it and all the lot of builds that you've been working on. I mean, only on a, maybe not only, but like, a community like this one. Let's play Minecraft together. It's just like you would think to go on a random server and try and coordinate a project like this. That would be a logistical nightmare. But you come on this server and be like, yeah, guys, we're just going to build a stadium. It's going to be huge. It's going to have a hundred million different things in it. And we're just going to get it done. And everybody just gets it done. It's quite mind boggling. I mean, yeah, it's just a game and people are just placing blocks, but really it's quite a bit more than that, isn't it? Trungle City Football Club. Remember correctly, Spangle has a security office around here somewhere.
Thought she did. The cat box? What's the cat box? Is this I Louvre Katz's VIP box? Oh. Badger set. VIP only. I'm wearing a cat's head. I think that makes me VIP. Oh, I remember this. Light shines out of Badger's butt. Well, okay. Good to know. That's a good view. Oops. There we go. <laughs> yeah, the shulker name is a good one. It is indeed. Yep, those are words. looks really good. I like it. The hard work shows. Blood, sweat, and tears. And joy. The Trungle City, I believe, is a project that was inspired by Scar. In, um, I believe it was Hermitcraft Season 5? Where he built his modern, was it a modern futuristic type of city that he built? It inspired the skyscrapers that um, X built in his Hermitcraft Season 5 base with his cactus farm inside of it. And then that came through onto this server where we found a massive jungle and we just decided to build a super modern city. We're just flying around aimlessly now. It's the supermarket or the farmer's market. So I think this one's the farmer's market, I believe. Ah, uh, maybe this, yeah, supermarket. Oh, sorry, hospital. This is the hospital. Oh, okay, very good. Thank you very much, Winnie, for that. I actually needed to add a waypoint for this one. Add mini type stuffs. Uh, Trungle hospital. You know, in case, in case you fall down too hard, you need to go and get your legs fixed. Sweet. Can you say sweet? And that's the last of our rockets. Enormous apple pie and obsessive hugger are working on the hospital, says Winnie. Make sure you find them somewhere and show them some love. I need to get some rockets so we can take to the skies. Oh dear, we are completely out of rockets. Let's see what else we can see here. Okay, so we're back into Scarscraper territory, Christmas tree. 
Ah, Sherpa has been making progress on his beach resort. North from here. Let's go check that out. When he says Sherpa is making progress on his beach resort. We had mentioned that earlier as well. I believe it's meant to be a Japanese resort. Not 100% sure about that, but I think so. Ah, yes. Okay, let's go back. The entrance is back this way a little bit. And perfect landing. Right, so... Walls. Yes. Enclosures. Um, I like that. I like that style of wall. It looks really cool. And... Is this a parkade? I'm not too sure what this is going to be. Underground car park, says Jimbo. Okay. Winnie says parking. Awesome. So first of all, I think we need to... Interesting, okay. I think we need to take a quick little look at what it looks like on the map because I think this... this I don't know if you can see my cursor. The There's a round bit around the pool and stuff. That's all custom terraformed, I believe. And I think it looks incredible. It might need a little bit of plantings, some sort of greenery, maybe some sugar canes on this side. I'm not sure, but I think it looks really, really good. Sherpa has been making some great progress on this stuff. If you've been watching Sherpa's streams, you probably would have seen a lot of this. Let's see if we can find the main entrance. I always feel like we're supposed to use the main entrance. Okay, it doesn't look like there is one yet, but it's a work in progress. It's coming along really nicely. I myself might actually have to draw some inspiration from this. Because my main base will be a similar style to the oriental builds that I have on my island so far. The temple was meant to be my main base, but then I realized it's not going to be big enough. So I've decided to make the temple specifically for my mementos and things like that. I make a bigger one at another time. So yeah, peeps, this is Sherpa's Japanese resort. Yeah, not too sure what's going on there. The turtle in the slime box. very cool. I like it. But peeps, I think that's where we're going to wrap up the stream today. Thank you everybody who tuned in and followed and welcome to the Quack family, to the new followers, and I hope you enjoyed it. Next stream will be on Wednesday at 8pm GMT UK time. So we look forward to seeing some of you there, all of you there, or maybe some of you. Or maybe none of you. Who knows? Anyways, I'll see you later, peeps. Thank you for coming out. Thanks for hanging out with us today.
Every time I play this, really. I, I just play my playlist a lot. I'm like, oh, I just need some music. Let me just play this. And it will just randomize whatever I'm listening to. That's why I end up like, listening to the same songs over and over. But I don't know. It's just finding time to like, like listen to some new artists. You know? Thank you. Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome, raiders. We're just finishing up the most dangerous task possible in the nether. I'm not sure if we need to do the walls as well for this, but I'm not sure how wide I want the walls to be. I think I want the tunnel to be exactly the same as, uh, like, size as Azuma's one. So what we're going to do is probably go look at that and just put in some, like, stone walls where we can build inside of. Because then other than, like, new spawns, we're, we're going to be pretty safe in here. going to make a big square box. <laughs> it means then like, I can build very easily out of, like, materials that are breakable. And not worry about, like, you know, anything. I'm working on the nether tunnels at the moment. This one in particular goes to three different places. There you go. I'll leave this central line here. This is where we want the floor to be. There you go. <laughs> it's quite the way. Uh, yeah, so let's look at what X has got and then... I think it's like... I don't know whether, whether or not the block... The patterned block, the design is there. Or if the design's there. I think it's where I placed 